Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, I had posted a video and it was about psychic chat and channeling um, about anxiety from my guides and it finally went up. I've had this video for two weeks and it would not upload. <laughs> Mercury retrograde this time was really a bear. So um, Victoria had commented and her question is, what's the importance of grounding? If we're if we are to connect with higher self and higher vibrations, then why is grounding so important? Why is it even needed? Wow, that's, I can't even tell you what an awesome question that is. It is so important. So I have some notes here and I'm gonna go back and forth and then I'm gonna tell you a situation that happened to me. Um, because the way that I learn big lessons, you know, when you don't learn something in life, that crap comes back around and back around and back around for a reason because you're not learning the lesson. And when you say, what is my lesson and how do I overcome it? That's when miraculous change happens. There's a tidbit for you. So um, yeah, I got smacked on my feet with that one about, about grounding. So we'll get into that. So being ungrounded makes it harder to create and, and achieve what you want to desire. Um, when we are ungrounded, we feel just easily distracted. It's hard to focus. Um, we feel missing in action, basically, feeling anxious, powerless, unsafe. You just, you just feel off. And you, you can't necessarily put your finger on it sometimes. And you just feel, your whole body feels out of whack. I usually feel it in my central nervous system. I just feel anxious and like I can't sit still and I'm here there squirrel shiny quarter that kind of mentality thing um I'm all over the place and I can't sit still and I I just I feel like I just can't breathe and relax so um you might feel like if you're too upper chakra, you might feel very spacey and all that kind of stuff too because you don't have the weight of being grounded. So you feel very upper chakra um, and very kind of like dizzy and out of body and spacey, that type of feeling. And I get that way. I used to get that way a lot when I first started years ago um, because I didn't really understand the importance of grounding until I had some teachers assisting me. Um, and then the whole process of me learning about it, right? So um, what is it to be grounded? So what I started to do was, you know, you want to drop your anchor um, into Gaia. So um, putting your roots down from your feet, going deep into the earth, into Gaia's crystalline core. So that's grounding yourself. But what I've learned is that I really, um, and then friends actually channeled this for me too. They kept saying, you need to ground. Kristen, you need to ground better. And I'm going, I, I, I'm working the garden. How much more grounded do I need to be? I'm actually putting my hands in dirt. I can walk barefoot all the live long day, but where's my intention going? I needed to bring earth energy into my being. So you know how we always have that scale, you know, you always see the picture of the scale, is it balanced, that type of thing. Well, the scale is actually at our crown and at our root. So that's the scale that um, my guides tell me about. You really want a good balance. If I just drop my anchor in and I'm not bringing in the earth energy, it's, I get more wonky. I get really out of it. So um, not only do I drop, I see my the two um, stars under my feet, which are my earth star chakras, and you watch them sink and intend for them to go deep into Gaia's crystalline core. And I ask Gaia to ground and protect me, and then I give her love and gratitude for doing so. And then I invoke the earth energy to come through my roots, up into my feet, up into up my legs, my torso, going pouring out my chest, down my arms to my fingertips, and then pouring out my crown like a fountain and then it pours over me and then goes back through my feet and then back up in this beautiful Taurus energy. So I'm fully encompassed in Gaia's earth energy. This has been huge because I felt a lot better after channeling. Um, I didn't feel as out of body, as flighty or 
as drained. Um, when we connect, we're supposed to connect, you know, to God, Source, the angelic realm, the galactics, all these beautiful beings. But it can make us out of body. And who who are we? Who am I? And then I feel spacey and out of body. And, you know, you don't want to live too much up here. You want that beautiful balance of being you. So I needed to do things for me. So my biggest lesson was when I was doing too many readings and I was just trying to do too much stuff. These, um, this person wanted to talk to me and then a reading and then class and it was too much and I wanted to do it all. And I physically couldn't because of my heart stuff, but also it wasn't giving me time to do things that make me, me. Like gardening, like um, repurposing furniture, like decorating. Um, maybe I had little projects that I wanted to do, or I just wanted to sit and read. I wanted to make a cup of tea and sit and read. Um, do Reiki on myself, do Reiki for my family, just different things. What makes you, you? What do you enjoy? So you know how um, we always say you want to fill your cup up first? So you want to be the person that's always there for everybody else, everybody else, and then you, you're you running on a low battery. <laughs> your flame is very low. So that's what it's like to be ungrounded because you you haven't filled your cup up. You haven't done for you. You haven't done things to recharge your own human battery things that make you feel like yourself. Maybe you just wanna go get your nails done or something like just things to, um, it's self-care, it's taking a bath with Epsom salts, taking a nice shower, just relaxing, whatever it means to you that you feel more in your body to reset, refresh, and recharge. And also intending and invoking um, that connection with Gaia and bringing her energy up into your being. Does that make sense? So I was really panicked. I will never forget this lesson because um, I remember feeling so out of body and I just felt like crap. I really didn't feel well. Um, I was constantly tired. I couldn't get out of it. I would wake up in the morning and I felt like I could just lay back down again. And it was different than my heart issues. Um, it didn't feel the same. So I was wondering what was going on and I actually got very panicky and um, I was looking, searching outside of myself for help, for help, for help. Um, and I didn't want to bother any of my friends or anyone else. And um, I contacted my Reiki practitioner to have a session and she couldn't because she wasn't feeling well. So I had to wait like a week and a half, two weeks before I was able to see her. So I went to my guides and said, what's going on? What do I need to do? I need your help. I know everything will work out best case scenario. I know it will, but right now my human self is freaking out and I need your guidance and help. And then I wound up seeing different things and the word grounding kept coming up. And then I was having um, uh, friends of mine, we have this, um, channeling group and we just bring forward messages for one another um and my one friend he had said you really need to ground and he gave me such an amazing message I asked him to email it to me because it was so spot on profound and it really was the answer that I've been thinking um and when I channeled for myself that week I'm like but how can I possibly I am grounded. I walk barefoot in the grass. I go in the dirt, but it's so much more than that. It's about bringing the energy into your being, which really helps protect you. And like I said, it's that beautiful balance. So does that, does that make sense and give some clarity? Um, I felt afterwards, um, my practitioner felt so bad. She goes, I'm so sorry when you needed me, I couldn't be there. And I said, that's okay. It was a lesson that I needed to learn for myself because I still would have been searching outside of me and would have just leaned on my practitioner to be like, oh, I have to go to her. No, we don't need anything outside of our, out of ourselves. You know what I mean? We can, we can receive the information to be able to help ourselves. Um, and then I also learned the power of saying no. You know, I can't piggyback um, 
channeling sessions and, you know, things like that. It was just too much and I needed to space everything out accordingly to suit my life. Um, and then also being able to lean on others because I was always there for others. Well, let's chat and how are you doing and all of that. So I had a couple of friends that were like, why didn't you come to me? And I felt so much better just sitting and talking with them and knowing that other people are going through the same thing that I was. Yes, I've gone through that. Oh yeah, that's the feeling. Or I've been feeling the same way or that kind of stuff. So it's so important to be around like-minded souls. And that's what I'm really trying to do with this community is really bring people together. Um, so you have, other than me, you have friends out there that are on the same journey with you so you don't feel alone. It's not like, boom, I awakened and I was just this all-knowing being, you know, it's not how it works. Sometimes it's like everything's on overdrive and I'm trying to navigate it. So that's why I wanted to do um, Infinite Heart and Soul to give those on this journey more, to let people know that the paranormal is normal, number one, um, and number two, to help those navigate it. And it's very different for all of us. But the one thing that is at its core is the fact that we do need to balance our upper chakras and our root, which is the lower chakras and the connection with Gaia. That's the beautiful balance. So I feel like I'm in my body. I feel like I filled my cup up and I'm nurturing myself. And I'm also connecting to these beautiful, higher, wonderful realms because I would feel very lopsided, in other words, um, if I didn't connect to both. I truly hope that that helps. Thank you so much, Victoria, for asking that question. Please drop questions down below and let me know if that helps you, okay? Take care. Bye.